Towards the end of the 10th century, a group of Turkic nomads migrated to Jand, a city on the edge of Khwarizmian lands. There, under their leader Selçuk, they embraced Islam. His grandchildren would go on to conquer large parts of the Middle East and found the Selçuk Empire. From this noble lineage, a man would come who would consolidate Selçuk control over the Middle East and expand the empire to its zenith, even threatening the deepest regions of Byzantine Anatolia. So who was this great man? Among the titles he was given was Abul Fath, meaning father of conquest, but he was known to his subjects as Sultan Malik Shah I. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters Welcome back to another episode of Islamist Peace Discussions Insha'Allah in today's video we will be discussing the life and reign of Sultan Malik Shah I Sultan Malik Shah I was born in 1055 and was the son of the mighty Sultan Al-Parslan His father's victory at the Battle of Manzikert in 1071 opened the floodgates of Turkish migration and invasion into Anatolia. As a result, Sultan Malik Shah inherited a vast empire that had already conquered Mesopotamia and was now pushing into Anatolia. He came to the throne in 1073, only two years after his father's great victory. There were many opponents to his claim on the throne, but he swiftly defeated them and ascended as the sole ruler of the Seljuk Empire. After consolidating his power, he began to push into Syria in the late 1080s and asserted his rule all the way into the Hejaz and Yemen. However, his conquests were not just aimed at uniting Muslim lands under one banner. He pushed further into Christian-controlled Anatolia than any of his predecessor predecessors had done before him and began to threaten the deepest regions of Byzantine Anatolia. It was under his rule that the empire reached its zenith stretching from Bukhara and Samarkand in the east to modern-day Turkey in the west and down to Yemen in the Arabian Peninsula. A very large empire. The Seljuk Empire at its height was perhaps the most powerful polity on the face of the planet. His achievements, however, were not limited to just military conquests. He was known for his deep love of art, science and literature. He ordered the building of an observatory in his capital city of Isfahan. From this observatory, a new calendar was formed with the assistance of one of the senior scholars in his capital, Umar Khayyam. The calendar was called the Jalali calendar. Malik Shah had a very close relationship with uh, the famous scholar Umar Khayyam and was known to deeply admire the latter's poetry. He was also very fond of architecture and he enjoyed building large masjids in Isfahan. As such, Isfahan was restored as a hub of knowledge under his reign as it was once before during the Abbasid era. He also tirelessly worked on improving the social administration of the empire. With the help of his vizier Nizamul Mulk, he compiled a book called the Law Book of Malik Shah. It codified Seljuk laws and made the administration of justice across the empire much easier. Nizamul Mulk also created the Nizamiya universities across the empire, which attracted students from all across the Islamic world. Under the reign of Sultan Malik Shah I, the Seljuk Empire had truly become a great Islamic state, bringing back the days of glory under the Abbasid Golden Age. Sultan Malik Shah was one of the greatest to ever ascend to the office of Sultan. His victories and achievements did not deter him from his devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his people. He is recorded to have once said to his vizier Nizamul Mulk, I implored the Lord of hosts that he would take from me my life and crown if my brother be more worthy than myself to reign over the Muslims. It is unfortunate that following his death, his children did not manage to continue his work in the same manner that his forefathers had. The once mighty Seljuk Empire would soon begin to decline and fall into ruin following a series of civil wars and political turmoil. Despite this, Sultan Malik Shah I left behind a rich legacy of scientific advancements, 
and his conquest laid the foundation for what would one day blossom into the Ottoman Empire. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy on Sultan Malik Shah I and accept the noble deeds he has done for this ummah.